What's up, you fucking tampon pussies? I... In the link in the description, I, I don't know, I guess I record a video of Jamie Nova got stabbed twice, right? I, I forgot how to say this part, but, like, why the fuck is he living in a fucking trailer park? In a trailer, trailer home? Like, what the fuck, dude? I mean, he works backstage with WWE now, I believe. And, so I'm, so I'm pretty sure he gets paid fucking good money, but yeah, but still, he's still living in a fucking trailer home. I mean... I, f I find that kind of weird, I mean, when you have a good job, and and I'm pretty sure they fucking pay him good money, but he, but, yeah, he's li but, yeah, it's, he's living in a fucking trailer home. I don't know if he wants to, or maybe he's just cheap, or maybe WWE, or maybe WWE just doesn't fucking give a fuck and just barely pays him any fucking money, maybe, I don't know, it could be for, it can be for whatever reason, but I just, I just want to know why is he living in a trailer home, you know? I find that kind of weird, but yeah, um, that video, the link, that video will be link in the description, maybe. I don't know. It's not, if if I forget, I, I fucking forget. If I don't, I I don't. I give zero fucks. All right, this is fucking. All right, <laughs> all right, this is fucking funny here. All right, WWE officials have huge plans for a botch, bro. I mean Donna Brooke after Hell in a Cell. <laughs> what? <is> that <laughs> broadcast all the looks and potential to be a great female WWE superstar, but but she's still very green and doesn't feel like a WWE superstar yet. <laughs> exactly, she fucking botches everything. There is a certain way. <laughs> There's a certain way of carrying yourself. That makes you. That makes a wrestler feel. In January, I don't know. Say that fucking shit. It's something. Wait. Oh yeah. It's something you can't teach. So Brooke will have to deliver up that on her own. Was very smart of WWE officials to put her with Charlotte, who has more grace than than almost at anyone. The only problem is that the partnership seems to be ending soon, according to reports from. CagesideSeats.com, WWE is still very high on Donna Brooke, and her t and her tension with Charlotte is about to explode into a full feud that will see Donna Donna Brooke become the top face ba wait the top face babyface in Raw's women's division. <laughs> what? Yes, Sasha Banks and Bailey are both ahead of her right now, but it seems like WWE will be will be booking Brooke stronger than both of them. Once the feud Charlotte begins Oh my god dude. Oh my god, alright, alright. The plan is for Brooke to be direct to be directly responsible for for costing Charlotte the women's title, which will set up Brooke versus Charlotte Charlotte as Sasha Banks goes on to be Raw's women's champion. Needless to say, Donna Brooke is going to need to learn fast. Do you think Donna Brooke is ready for her top spot in Raw? She's not even. If she couldn't fucking do a simple thing like last month or two months ago, I believe it was. Remember, like a Monday Raw. Well, I believe it was Char. I believe it was Charlotte versus fucking Sasha Banks. I believe. I forgot. I forgot who Charlotte was versing, but. She was supposed to put Charlotte's leg on the fucking rope or or something like that. And she couldn't do si something simple like that. She fucking bot- How do you botch something like that? If she can't do something- And all she does is fucking botches. I don't think she's ready for a top top spot yet. And I understand why they're trying to do this. Because they have- They literally have no- How the fuck do you call this at Raw Division? If, if you only showcase three women. Sasha Banks. Bailey and Charlotte. How do you call that a women's division on Monday Night Raw? It makes no sense. That that's a women's division to fucking to Vince McMahon apparently. Only only showcasing three fucking women. We're all gonna get tired of it. So I understand why they're trying to push um Donna Brooke to have fucking more women to the fucking division. And apparently, see that Sh uh, um, Sasha Banks is gonna win the women's champion from Charlotte because of. 
Donald Brock, I mean, it seems like WWE is going to go that route. I mean, I, I guess so. And ho hopefully WWE does this by building by building the fucking feud between her and, and Bailey till WrestleMania 33. But hopefully they don't start now. You know, but like, I, I want that. I, I, I obviously want Sasha Banks versus Bailey for the women's title at WrestleMania 33. Hopefully that's what WWE does, but I don't think they're going to do that, to be honest. I mean, seems like, I mean, it makes a lot of sense. I mean, Donald Brook. Has been costing Charlotte the fucking title apparently, and then Sasha Banks and take the title away from Charlotte because of Diamond Brook. But yeah, I mean, I understand why they're gonna give her a push, but but why Diamond Brook, man? Why why her? Why not Nia Jax, dude? But speaking about women right now, I, I just want to get into the article real quick, all right? All right, cause this all right, all right, all right what else? Beth Phoenix returning to WWE. In recent years, Beth Phoenix has been busy raising a family with WWE Hall of Famer Edge. You think that would be enough, but it's possible she may be looking for more. Recently, recently, Natalia posted the following photo on Instagram of her and Phoenix, which has a lot of people talking about the, the Divas of Doom returning to WWE television. Oh, okay. So basically, Natalia posted a picture of her and Beth Phoenix. And the caption says, With the one and only at, at um, Beth Phoenix, can't wait to see you soon. The countdown begins. Hashtag Glam Sam. Hashtag Queen of Hearts. Hash, hashtag Divas of Doom. Oh, wow. So looks like they're going to be returning as a tag team. I mean, wait, isn't Natalia on SmackDown, though? Yeah, I believe she's on SmackDown. But if Beth Phoenix doesn't return, I wanted to go on Raw. I mean, like I said, Raw, th there's no women's division. How the fuck do you call this a women's division when you only showcase three fucking women? Only three. Bailey, Charlotte, and Sasha Banks. How do you call that a division? Like, literally, how the fuck do you call that a division? And honestly, adding, like, a veteran like Beth Phoenix, that would be pretty good, great, you know? Hopefully she goes Raw. Hopefully she does if she does return, but... Yeah, t um, let me go back to the fucking article I was reading earlier about Donald Brook getting a push. I mean, I I mean, I understand why they're doing it, like I said, but <laughs> she's but she's gonna keep she's gonna keep botching shit. But yeah, enough of that. Let's go to the next fucking article. Um, WWE canceled. All right, this article can actually load. WWE. Come on, man. WWE canceled major plans for Roman Reigns before Clash of Champions. Recently, Roman Reigns defeated Rusev to become the become the United States Champion at Clash of Champions, which has been well received by the Major League of the WWE Universe. The WWE fans can't seem to find common common ground on Reigns because he he currently has the strongest mis, mixed reaction in WWE. Which is great. It it just divides the WWE fan base. According to reports from CageSideSeats.com, WWE officials were 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 strongly considering a heel turn for Roman Reigns before he won the United States title at Clash of Champions. The plan was for a for a double turn to take place between Reigns and Seth Rollins. Rollins has begun his his face his baby face run, but WWE canceled. Romans because they were they are still trying to get him a positive reaction from WWE fans. How many times are they gonna keep fucking trying? It is so just turn that guy fucking heel already. Holy fuck, it's so annoying. How dude, how many times are they gonna keep trying? Don't do they fucking listen to the fucking fans? Holy shit. The U.S. title run could do wonders there. Whenever Rank stays out of the WWE title picture, the WWE Universe cuts him some slack. He doesn't get strong face reaction, but the but the boos aren't so aggressive. A lot of them also depends on who he feuds with, so that will be interesting to watch in Raw's mid card. All right, I'm gonna say that at least at least he didn't win the Universal title, right? Uh, I said it's ready, but like a, a guy like him, a main eventer like him, holding a mid card title will bring will 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 bring prestige to the title. I mean, 
You gotta think about it. If you like him or hate him a lot or whatever, you you really gotta think about it. But yeah, it is true that um, a main event like him holding the mid card title would would do a lot to the fucking title. But yeah. how many times are they gonna keep trying to get to get? Obviously, they want him to be babyface, but he can't be babyface when you have all the fucking fans fucking booing him and shit. How many times are they going to keep fucking trying? It is so annoying. Just turn the guy fucking heel. And honestly, I think he works better as a heel. I mean, if he does turn heel, I'm pretty sure he's going to work better as a fucking heel. Not. Come on, man. How many times are they going to keep trying? It's so fucking annoying. and it's, It really is annoying. Speaking about annoying, it's so annoying when... Ro- you can tell when Roman Reigns is literally John Cena 2.0. He's literally John Cena 2.0 right now. When John Cena when John Cena um retires, Roman Reigns will be the next fucking John Cena. I'm like, holy shit, dude. John Cena gets booed and he gets cheered. Roman Reigns gets booed and cheered. Fucking where are the fucking re- Oh yeah, John Cena only does fucking literally like only two fucking movesets. And Roman Reigns does only fucking two moves. That's two. It, it's fucking. It really is annoying, dude. You can tell when Roman Reigns is about to finish a match. All he does is just a super, super, s- fucking Superman punches and all that fucking bullshit. He literally does the same fucking moves. It, it's so annoying, dude. You can tell when he's a ma- when he's in the mat when he is in a match. You can tell when he's about to fucking win because just. This- I, you can just tell right away. I mean, it's hard to explain just by like the moves that he does. It just—it's so annoying. Dude. It really is annoying. But yeah, I—I I, I was about to say something, but I fucking forgot what I was about to say. I—I I fucking forgot what I was about to say right now. I was about to fucking say something. All right, big. All right, let me fucking. I just finished the art, just finished the video off by this article. Big babyface angle planned for Seth Rollins. WWE had originally planned for Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns double turn angle, but those, like I said earlier, uh, angle, but those plans have been nixed. Nixed. They fucking did a botch right there. Whoever wrote this fucking article. I appreciate it. Oh my god, dude. Oh my. Just re- let me read the fucking article, bro. I hate when this shit happens, man. When you click an article and they always tell you, congratulations, you won a thousand dollars. Worry, it's it's just a fucking scam. And uh, all right, WWE had, uh, I forgot what was it. Oh, Nix. mixed. They did a fucking botch. Whoever fucking wrote this article, mixed and won't be taking place after all. The company is still planning on going forward with a full f- fendral um Rollins turn with a big angle that would. That would leave no doubt as to if Rollins is a heel or babyface. The idea is to eventually have Rollins face a heel Triple H, which might be different. I mean, difficult because fans eventually take. I mean, eventually like to cheer for Triple H. In regards to to Roman, the company still has plans to push him as a top babyface. Waiting for I already talked about that earlier. I'm not gonna talk about it again, but. It's pretty obvious that we're gonna have that Seth Rollins was a Triple H. Speaking about Triple H, I just don't. I like the fact how he fucking helped out Kevin Owens, but we still don't know why. Why the fuck did he fuck over Seth Rollins? I already talked about that, you know, like why? Can we at least get in the? Can he? Can he at least come out on Monday Night Raw or something and fucking explain why? I mean, we still don't know fucking why he helped out Kevin Owens. I don't know, but. It's pretty obvious that this is going to happen. Triple H versus Seth Rollins, obviously. They're also going to build around the fact because because Triple H fucked over Seth Rollins, obviously. But I just still, I just, I just want to know why Triple H did that, you know. We still haven't gotten an answer yet from Triple H. But yeah. Well, um, it's also going to happen. I don't know when it's going to happen. Probably at Survivor Series. If not, probably at WrestleMania 33. But I, if it's going to be that fucking late, I don't know why. I mean... If this match, if this feud, if this feud is gonna happen, it's obviously gonna be Bill Ron because Seth Rollins got fucked over. And if they have this match at WrestleMania 33, it's not gonna make that much sense because, I mean, Triple H fucked him over like last month, and WrestleMania 33 is in like in fucking nine months. So yeah, I, I they're really gonna, I, I don't know, you know, but I don't know what's gonna happen, but it's pretty obvious that it's gonna happen. But yeah, that's it for the fucking video. My last two videos will be in, will be. In, Will be in the link in the description. Jamie Norman got stabbed twice. 
hashtag get well soon, Jamie. And the other video, WWE wants to sign Matt Hardy. Speak, speaking about TNA right now, actually, tonight is actually the Bound of Glory, the, which is basically the WrestleMania. It's TNA's WrestleMania, biggest fucking event. Tonight. But, yeah, I'm out.